Hey guys, welcome to my very messy pantry. Today, we're cleaning out and organizing this hot mess. So going into 2023, I have a list of things in my house that I'm looking to organize and declutter because I just, I just have too much crap, you guys. And really, I have decided that I need to get rid of 50% of my stuff. Well, this weekend, I decided to tackle my pantry organization because it has been a hot mess for a while and something needs to be done about it. So of course, my first order of business was to clean off my island so that I would have a place to put all this crap as I'm organizing it. So let's take a look at the before. And yes, I know I'm super lucky to have this huge pantry, but you know what? The more space you have, the more crap you collect. And here it is. Yes, I store all of our food in here, obviously. But then since it's so large, I also have space to store like my roaster and my cupcake carrier and my drink dispenser and all of my cookie cutters and everything like that. So I would say the last time I organized this pantry is probably almost two years ago. So it was definitely time to get that done. But of course, everything was in disarray. We've just been kind of shoving stuff back in. And I knew that I really needed to kind of go through through everything as well um, because there was you know there were some expired things in there that needed to be taken care of and some things that I needed to decant so of course I went on to trusty Amazon and got this super cute set of pantry labels I'll link everything that I use down below just a warning the finished product is not going to be Pinterest worthy but if you have been around my channel for a while you know that we just do the best we can around here and normally things are a hot mess and it's definitely going to look a lot better than it was but it's still not going to be Pinterest worthy. And that's totally fine because I feel like that's not, not, not always real life, right? So the first thing that I'm doing is removing all of my cans from the can racks that are in the pantry. Now, the last time I organized my pantry, I picked up these awesome can racks and they really do help me use the space that I have in my pantry. But as you can imagine, as you sort of move things around and put groceries away, what ends up happening is things get very disorganized. And so I wanted to take all of the cans out and organize them into different sections. So put all the beans in one spot, all of the olives in one spot, all of the vegetables in one spot, just different things like that. So what I found is that I have 50 bajillion cans of black beans that I need to get used up. So recipes with that coming soon. But <laughs> I also had this random basket full of like baking chocolates and things like that. Some of these were expired. So I did have to go through those. And then I also had this plastic tub, these clear plastic tubs that are larger. I do um, pick those up at Walmart and I really, really like them a lot just for different things around my house but I find them super useful in the pantry as well because they are tall and deep and they hold a lot of stuff but as you can see I basically have this container just packed full of crap there's like no rhyme or reason there's ramen noodles in there there's chocolate in there there's baking mixes in there there's just all kinds of stuff that doesn't really go together and every time that I'm reorganizing I really want to kind of group um, like things together because that is what is going to help me find things obviously when I go to find them in my pantry. These uh, bins were a little bit dirty and they had crumbs in the bottom of them. They weren't bad enough that I needed to you know wash them out in the sink but I did have to spray them with some multi-surface spray and wipe them out a little bit. So the thing that I really like about this particular sticker set is that one the letters are clear so you can basically put it on any color I guess except black black wouldn't really work but you can put it on any color of container either white or clear or colored and it will show up and what I decided to do was just keep this bin for soups and noodles that's something that we tend to have a lot of uh, my daughter Kira is pescatarian and so she eats a lot of ramen and my obviously my kids like mac and cheese we like ramen as well and so um, I kind of just wanted a space where where I can group all of these things together. And I also wanted to put it in a space in the pantry that was easy for um, the kids to access. And that's something that I'm always thinking about too when I'm reorganizing things or spaces in my house is especially the items that I use most frequently. Um, I wanna put those 
obviously easy access where I can get to them. So I really like how this turned out, but that's kind of what I like about this particular sticker set is that they have ampersands and you can kind of combine words and customize them the way that you want. So this particular blue basket is um, a container that has all my nut butter in it. Well, what ended up happening is some of them got kind of knocked over. And so obviously when you have any type of nut butter, like almond butter, peanut butter, whatever, it's, it's full of oils, right? And so what ended up happening is some of the, <laughs> the containers got knocked over and the bottom of this bin was just totally covered with peanut oil. So I had to wash that out, but I knew that I wanted all of my uh, nut butters in one spot. It's something that I use frequently, especially when I'm making PB and J's for the kids, or even when I'm making snacks and breakfast for myself. So all of my items ended up fitting in here, which was great. Um, quinoa is something that I also frequently use. I had several containers of this, and so I wanted to kind of combine them all together. It didn't really bother me to combine the regular quinoa with the red quinoa and, and whatever, it's, it's all gonna be fine. So now what I'm going to do is start putting the cans back into the can racks. And I'm kind of starting from the right side and going over to the left, just trying to kind of group things in like sections. So starting out with like the beans and veggies on one side and moving over to the left. The other thing I realized when I was doing this is that I had like six cans of coconut milk that I have no idea <laughs> how I accumulated them all. So at least now I knew I have, now I have to make some curry or something. <laughs> I basically have all of my canned goods put back on the top shelves here. I'm finding that I actually have a lot less cans than I did the last time I organized my pantry. I don't know if I just don't have as much of a stockpile or what, but right now what I'm trying to do is kind of clean out this middle shelf right here. So this box basically has pasta in it, but I know I've got some stuff in here that is either expired or it's just not, I'm not gonna use. So I need to either toss that or donate it. And then I've got some kind of miscellaneous mess right here. This rack actually started putting back a lot of like condiments and sauces and olives and things that were in glass jars. I feel like I'm not, like why is this empty? I don't know, like what, <laughs> what was there before? But yeah, let's take this pasta mess out of here. Have I thrown away some stuff? Yes, I definitely have. If it's open and it can't be donated or it's expired and it can't be donated and I know that I'm not gonna use it, I'm throwing it away. And I know some people are gonna think that that is wasteful and, and whatever, and yes, I agree, it is wasteful. However, the mindset I'm taking this year as I try to declutter and get rid of all the crap that I have in my house that I'm not using is that it's not serving me by keeping things that I'm not gonna use and it's actually worse for my mental health and my well-being and my family's well-being to have just crap here that we're not <laughs> using um and that outweighs the fact that i might be wasting something i mean newsflash we all waste things but yeah that's kind of the mindset that i'm taking and i know that some people won't agree with that and that's totally fine but you got you know everyone has to kind of do what works the best for them and their family so i have some of this cassava pasta. I feel like I got this when I was in like my paleo phase, you know, and does pasta ever really become outdated? Probably not, but obviously I'm not gonna donate stuff that's the outdated because that's just, that's just rude. <laughs> like why would you do that? Okay, and then I've got three packages of this Penne that I can combine. You're probably gonna say, well, how do you know how much you have? Like if you wanna cook up a pound, how do you know how much to cook up? Well, I have a kitchen scale, so I can use it for that. Okay, now I also have a oblong container. So this one right here, I'm gonna keep this one separate because this is actually angel hair protein pasta. But these I have are just spaghetti, plain spaghetti. And then I've got a linguine. And I have to say that this container also, I have found really helpful for my lasagna noodles. Although I think it's weird because there's actually not a lasagna 
sticker, but there's one for linguine. Okay, so I think I am gonna keep this container just for pasta and I do have a sticker for that. So we'll put that on there. Bang, bang, boom. I've also got some like just packages of regular pasta boxes. I also have many, many cookie cutters. Ta-da! I've also got this drawer here that I keep some cookie cutters in. And the reason I do that is because, you know, I used to pack like a lot of themed lunches for my kids, but I don't really do that much anymore because they're bigger now. So I think I'm just going to move these to this bin. This uh, bread machine, actually, Adam got it for me. One year for Christmas is in the bottom of my pantry. I thought about donating it then i thought you know i really haven't used it that much i haven't become proficient at it yet so we're gonna try it a couple more times but i got these cord holders on amazon i can link them down below and basically they adhere onto the back of like small appliances that way you can wrap the cord up so i'm gonna try it that works pretty good um i actually have three more i'm gonna use one of them i know for my KitchenAid mixer and maybe my food processor and my instant pot i think so getting back to all of the decanting of the ingredients into these containers this is obviously the most fun part for me because i get to put stickers on stuff and like hello my 12 year old self is very <laughs> very excited about that but you know i found like an unopened container of stevia that i haven't used and of course that needed to go into its own container i also found that i had a sticker for pancake mix and so of course i had to put my pancake mix sticker on a container and just put my can pancake mix in there obviously all of this stuff is fun right like it's fun to put all these things in containers and it's fun to look at and blah 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 but really i do think that it saves a lot of space in the pantry and the reason for that is that all of these containers especially um, the bhg ones that i get from walmart they all all stack together and so it really is good use of the space and you'll see that at the end it's a lot more efficient use of space than just like putting a bunch of bags and boxes and things like that in there um, I decided to decant my granola as well one of the things that I made sure that I did was save the nutrition facts and the barcode from each of these things that I decanted. If you watch my other content, you know that I'm working on losing weight right now. And so it's really important to have that kind of stuff and be accurate because I am um, very accurately trying to track my calories and, and macros and things like that. Now, obviously here too, I also had a sticker for uh, mashed potatoes and I always keep potato buds in my pantry. Number one, I keep them to thicken potato soup, which is a really good use for them. But then I also keep them uh, just so I can have emergency mashed potatoes <laughs> if I need them during the week. So of course I was super excited to uh, use that sticker. Sometimes I feel like what I show in my kitchen may not always be super realistic to what yours looks like also because I do well first of all I love to cook right and so I have a lot of spices I have a lot of you know dry goods on hand like I just have I just keep a lot of food in my house because I love to try different recipes it's sort of like if you're a carpenter or you know something like that and you have a lot of those tools like I kind of liken it to that plus I have a YouTube channel that's centered a lot around food. So, you know, you may not have all of these things in your house like I do, and, and that's totally fine. Then you're going to have a much <laughs> easier time organizing your stuff than I do. But I just don't, don't want anyone to feel like, you know, feel bad just because they don't have as, as many varieties of flour as I do. <laughs> I also want to say to my dismay, there was not a sticker for farro. I actually have a couple recipes using it in my cookbook. One of my favorite things to do with it is make like an apple farro walnut salad. That's really good. In fact, I'll have to make that. I haven't made it in a while. So instead of having a sticker, I just cut the label off the box and, and put it in there so I could tell. <laughs> so I could tell what it was. Obviously, this is something that's fun for me. It's also something that I can tend to get overwhelmed with. I think that especially for big projects like this, you have to go into it just knowing that it's going to take several days and that's probably okay. I mean, if you can get it done in one day, that is, is fantastic. 
I can rarely ever do that because I pretty sure I have undiagnosed ADHD. And so every time I see a squirrel, I'm like running from one end of the house to the other doing something else. And you know, that that's just how I roll around here. But I was able to get this done within just a couple days. And honestly, I've been using it now for over a week. I always like to do that before I tell you guys how everything works. Out and it's working out great. Also, my family was super impressed at how clean and organized the pantry was. So that's a win there. I also decided to put kind of all of my sprinkles and frostings and like cake decorations and things like that into one of these bins, which I think was a great use of space. Um, I recently organized my spice cabinet. So I'll link that video down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. Those were things that were taking up space in my spice cabinet. And so I was kind of glad to get those out of there um, as well. I ended up having a surplus of these containers. And so I decided to put some uh, dog treats in one of them because hello, there was a dog treat sticker and I had to obviously, <laughs> I had to obviously use that up. As I started nearing the end of this organization project, I started getting worried that everything wasn't going to fit all back in. And, and, you know, you just, I don't know, you just start to get concerned. It's like, it gets really messy before it gets clean again. And I think that's the part where I start to worry that nothing's going to, <laughs> nothing, you know, everything's not going to fit back in, but it did. I made it fit. It's totally fine. So what I decided to do with all of my different baking mixes and stuff is put them in this bin that I so lovingly labeled mix. Um, so like I have these different brownie mixes and, and low carb um, cake mixes and different things like that. And some of these were outdated. I did have to toss a few of them, but uh, this actually worked out pretty well and I was able to put all of my cake and brownie and cookie mixes in there. The other thing I always seem to have a surplus of is bars, you know, like granola bars, protein bars, you know, that's the other thing too. When you do like food content on YouTube, a lot of companies will just like send you stuff to try out. And it's not even because they're doing an affiliation with you or sponsoring a video. It's just like they're sending you stuff in the hopes that you'll talk about it on your channel. And sometimes I do, but sometimes if I don't like it, I don't talk about it. I don't know. It just depends. But these verb bars I actually bought myself. I actually really like them. I have to say, I haven't liked all of the flavors, but most of them I have liked. And they're a great like sweet treat uh, that's low in calories. So I did go ahead and, and organize those and put them in a container so they were all together. The other thing that was really bugging me about the way that the pantry was organized before is there was so much crap on the floor. And I knew, I just knew that there was going to be a ton of dog hair and dust and dog food down there. And look, that is exactly, <laughs> that is exactly what happened. So I have to tell you, it felt super, super good to get ever this all like swept and mopped and, and wiped out because I knew that there was just going to be a ton of junk down there. Anytime you keep dog food somewhere, and you have dogs, it's just, it's going to be a mess. You just, you just know that. So it definitely felt good to get all of this cleaned out. So I had Adam help me remove everything from the top shelf in the pantry. And I decided what I was going to keep and what I was going to donate. So these are the things I'm going to donate. I have a couple different coolers. I actually bought this defroster from Amazon to test. It's like, man, it kind of works, but I never use it. Veggie tray, um, a popcorn maker that I use like once. This is actually kind of cool. This is a double-decker casserole carrier, but I never use it. And then this steamer, I did, I've, I've used this several times, actually. I did a video with them a long time ago. I mean, it works great. It just like, I feel like it takes up too much room. And I'm also working on decluttering other things from my kitchen, which will be in a separate video, but these are all the things that I've decluttered so far. My goal was kind of like to get rid of 50% of my stuff. I know that sounds extreme, but I have way too much crap. So are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! I do really like these containers. There's a couple different kinds I have. So I'll link all of this stuff down below, obviously, but these are from Walmart. They're the BHG brand. And then I also have some 
with the push top that are OXO or OXO, however you say it. I actually think I kind of like the ones from Walmart a little bit better because I feel like they're a little bit sturdier. Um, but it was super fun, like putting all these cute labels on and obviously not everything is labeled because I, some things didn't have labels, but you know, I say this in every video. So if you've watched any of my organizational videos, I'm going to say this it is my house, especially like in the parts where I'm organizing things like it's probably not going to be Pinterest worthy. So if you want that, like I'm probably not the person <laughs> to give it to you. But if you just want like a real life, like hot mess, but organized, then I'm your girl. So I tried hard to think about like, okay, what do I need to access the least that's going to go on the top shelf. So up there is our sous vide. And then I have a couple of like Tupperware carrying cases. I ended up putting all of my cookie cutters in one bin, so that's fantastic. A drink dispenser that we use for parties sometimes, a roaster that we hardly ever use, a cupcake carrier that I hardly ever use, but I do use it. It's kind of one of those things that like when you need it, <laughs> you need it. I did end up putting my potatoes and onions up here, but I'm fairly tall for a female, so I can reach this stuff. I'm 5'8". And then I've got some extra crackers, and then I really liked putting all of my sprinkles and decorations and stuff in there for cupcakes and cakes because then it doesn't take up room in my spice cabinet. This is basically just all kind of like dry goods, baking stuff, rice, nuts, that kind of thing. Got our snack organizers down here. I've got a bin for stuff for the dogs, stuff to make their food, treats, things like that. Some salad containers. Uh, my roasters I use like fairly frequently, I would say. So I kept those down there and then down below is my bread maker. And then this is a picnic basket that my grandma passed down to me, so I'll never get rid of that. Up here, this is more like chocolate chips and chocolate and different baking uh, things. And then back here, this is just kind of a miscellaneous bin full of stuff that I'm not going to need to access that frequently. I've got some Quest chips here. Um, this is just kind of miscellaneous like sauces and different things like that. But you can see how these racks kind of allow you to use this space um, without having, you know, obviously these are all jars, like you couldn't stack them on top of one of the other. So it helps you um, use up the space, especially if you have taller shelves in your pantry. And then all of this is like baking extracts, jello, that kind of stuff. Um, I also put that here because I didn't want it to take up room in my spice cabinet. Cereal, soups, and noodles. I've got some different types of protein bars here. Crackers. So I've got Ritz crackers, saltine crackers, Triscuits, Wassa, some tortilla uh, chips. This is kind of just miscellaneous seasonings and um, I put all of my nut butters in this basket. And then my Instant Pots, we've got dog food, Milo's dog food, Murphy's dog food. Um, on the bottom, I moved one of my can racks down here and that's what I've been putting my canned dog food on. So that's been working well. We've got um, lunch boxes down here to store those. I've got my mops in here. Um, all of these, um, like I, I think I got these at Walmart, but they're super handy for hanging your brooms and Swiffer and, and things like that. They're just command hooks. I've got all of my pasta right here. This is just kind of like miscellaneous sauces, rice, dressings, things like that. Um, and then I tried to put all of my canned goods up here. So beans, vegetables, olives, pickles, soups, tuna. And then I kept this same here. This is just where we keep like chips and popcorn. And then down here I've got my extra plastic silverware and some Swiffer pads and then you can't really see under here but um, there's a fire extinguisher under there as well if you guys enjoyed this pantry organization video please give this video a thumbs up it really does help uh, my channel and anytime you leave a comment it also helps as well by liking and commenting on the video and actually even disliking the video it helps push it out <laughs> to more people so they can watch it so I appreciate you for that any of the supplies I use will be linked in the description box below and if I missed one just leave a comment and I will add that as well thank you and I'll see you in my next video if you want to watch how I reorganized my spice cabinet that video will be right here Bye.